Hi, James with the One Hour Smart Home, and today we're going to show you how to install a under cabinet or under sink water filter. So what I've got here, this is the Frizz Life water filter. I'm going to put a link below, but uh, my wife had been wanting a water filter for a long time. We have one on our refrigerator that dispenses water, but uh, something that was going to provide filtration for stuff coming out of the sink. So there's a lot of different options. There's countertop options, stuff like that. Uh, I wanted to go with an under sink one just to make everything look clean. So what we've got here is uh, a water filter that goes down to 0.5 microns. And what 0.5 microns means is that anything larger than 0.5 microns is going to get trapped in that water filter and stopped from going into your water supply. Anything smaller than 0.5 microns is going to pass through. And for reference, most bacteria and viruses are larger than that 0.5 microns, so they're going to get captured in this water filter, as well as harmful particulate and molecules that are in this water, they're going to get trapped in that filter if they are larger than 0.5 microns. So another important part to any quality water filter is activated carbon or activated charcoal. And this water filter does have that, but what activated charcoal or activated carbon does within a water filter is it it reacts with the other chemicals within your water and neutralizes them and captures them within that carbon cartridge so for large particles they get stopped by the actual size of the filter media and then for other chemicals in the water they're neutralized by the activated carbon or activated charcoal within the filter and that's a reason that you kind of want to have two parts to a water filter one for filtering out particle size and another one that will react and neutralize with chemicals that are within the water and you can see here on the side what this water filter was effective in filtering out and that's kind of a primer on how water filters work we'll do another topic where we explain water filters in depth but this is a good starting point now let's get started installing this so the first thing that we're going to do here is uh, grab one of our hoses this is the inlet hose and we are going to put it on the supply side all you've got to do is screw this in and why you want to put these in prior to having this installed down below is that one it's a lot easier to do this you just screw this in uh, like this up here than it is underneath your sink but it also gives you an idea of where you can actually install this underneath your sink right you want to make sure that your supply lines are long enough for you to actually be able to install this. So you could use a wrench or then channel locks to tighten it down the last bit here. Uh, I recommend don't go too crazy with uh, tightening these up because you can over tighten stuff with plastic threads and break or strip those threads. So kind of give it a nice firm twist, but don't be using all the leverage in the world to get this tightened down. So let's see, that feels about right there. And now we are going to put on our outlet hose. So you can see that it is labeled here, supply and filtered. So the outlet is the filtered side. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did over there. Just screw this in and get this installed. It's kind of awkward because these hoses, they, uh, they flop around a little bit when you're doing it. So they're just kind of going everywhere, but uh, gotta do it. So we'll get it installed here. If it leaks, uh, you can put Teflon tape on there, but since it is plastic, it's a softer thread. It's not quite the same as metal to metal contact. So that plastic kind of seals it up a little bit where sometimes metal threads don't always seal tight. So uh, let's just get it on here nice. Okay. And I think that is about good. We should be good there. Okay. So now we have our supply and return, and uh, you're gonna go install it underneath the sink. You're gonna wanna fit it with this cartridge on and make sure you can get it in the right spot. But uh, I'm gonna take this off because I already know where I'm gonna put it. You just twist to take it off. And then you can easily mount this plate with the three holes underneath the sink wherever you want this to go. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so the first thing we did after attaching the hoses is we mounted the filter cartridge bracket. So there are three screws on there, and let's see if we can get you in there. And we mounted those. Uh, they're pretty short, so you don't have to worry about going through anything. But 
We mounted those just with a drill driver. You could do it with a screwdriver, it'll take a little bit longer. But something you should do before you mount the filter that I wanna show you is I made some marks here on the cartridge or the uh, cartridge holder and then on the filter cartridge itself. And the reason I did that and the reason you should do that if you're installing one like this is that you wanna make sure that this cartridge is seated properly. One, so it's gonna have the right flow, but also two, so that it doesn't leak, right? If you have this slightly not seated, uh, you can have leaks out the top here. So putting those lines on there let me, lets me know when that is properly seated in the holder. So I'm gonna show you here. It also makes it easier to install because I can understand the orientation of the thread. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. It's kind of hard, but all right. I know that right about there is the midpoint. So let's see. Uh, usually you'd use two hands, but uh, so you can get an idea of what is going on. Okay, so there, I have got it pushed up into the cartridge holder and now I rotate and I'm gonna know when it's installed properly when it is aligned, which is right there. You can see the mark I made is properly aligned and it just snapped out of the bracket because I was torquing it down. So I'm just gonna snap it back in. But now I know that that cartridge is not going to leak. I've got it properly seated and I recommend putting a couple lines there so that you know where you've got it. And then you can just copy those over onto your next filter so that you understand how that is mounted in there. And it's gonna work for uh, you know pretty much any installation, but the reason I put three lines on there is so that if it's in a different orientation, I still understand how that cartridge sheets. So the next thing that we need to do, and let me adjust the lighting here a little bit, is we need to take our uh, lines and connect them to our water supply. So this one is going to go to the sink. This is our uh, filtered water hose, so treated water comes out of here. And this one is the inlet hose right here. So this is going to connect to where our cold water line currently is, which is right here. So I've got to remove that and install this. In order to install this, I wanna make sure the water is off. So I'm gonna turn it off at this valve right here. Now, I typically also turn the water off at the main because what I have found is that a lot of these valves, these are you know pretty inexpensive, they can leak and they can go bad over time. And it's just easier to both turn this valve off, the cold water valve and the main water valve so that I assure that there isn't a whole bunch of water going everywhere while I am doing this work. So just gonna make sure that's tight and don't over tighten it. Don't go crazy with these things. They are fragile. They can corrode over time and it's just important you are gentle with them. You don't wanna make a leak where there wasn't one already. So I'm gonna turn that one off, which I've already done. And now I'm gonna go turn the main water off and then you're gonna need a wrench to get this off of here. And uh, you could use channel locks or just a crescent wrench to get that off of there. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so we take our crescent wrench and uh, based on the size of the fitting, which we've got here for the new water filter, we don't wanna take this fitting on the bottom off. We wanna take the fitting up here off. I've already loosened it a little bit with a crescent wrench, but one, it's really tight in there uh, just because of all these different hoses. But uh, once you get it, uh, loosened up a little bit, you can pretty much just use your hand. Another thing before you loosen this all the way is uh, you're gonna make sure you got a towel just to kind of catch the water that's gonna come out of the line in there. So we're gonna loosen it a little bit and you're gonna see just a little bit of dripping and water that comes out of that line. So here we go, we've almost got it off. Okay, there we have it. Now, the next thing that uh, depending on the existing uh, threads on there and everything and what the status of the Teflon tape that's already installed is you're going to want to install just a little bit of Teflon tape and Teflon tape just seals up uh, metal on metal threads so what you need to do is get your Teflon tape which looks like this it's you know like 99 cents a roll or something like that it's very inexpensive and you just go once around the threads and try and not to overdo it. Sometimes it's hard to get in there because of uh, how the angle is. So I'm going to try this again from a different angle and see if we can't get that Teflon tape wrapped around there. Okay, like this. 
that seems to do it. And then I can just tear it and peel and stick the rest of the way around. Teflon tape is kind of tricky. You don't want to overdo it, but you do want to make sure you get it in the threads there. So you can see we've got our Teflon tape installed. Now I'm going to make sure that I've got the right side of the filter hose. So the filter hose that I've got here, this is the inline or the input hose, and I am going to tighten it back down on this fitting here. So first thing you're going to do is just hand tighten it down. Okay. And once you get it tight, you can then use your crescent wrench and tighten it all the way back down. Okay. And feel free to put this in two speed or fast forward through some parts, but I just wanna make sure everyone sees what is going on here and we will tighten this down. Okay, so we have got this all tightened up uh, with the crescent wrench there, and that is good to go. The last thing we need to do is take our line for filtered water and then connect it to the line that we removed from the cold water so that this goes up to the sink. This is a line going to the sink faucet, and I'm just going to connect it to the filter output line. Now you can see it's metal to metal threads there. Um, you can put some Teflon tape on there if you're concerned about it, but this does have a gasket in there. I'm going to put a little Teflon tape on there just to make sure those threads seal up easily because I've got the Teflon tape out and it's just, uh, in my opinion, the right thing to do anytime you've got metal to metal threads for the most part. So let's get that on there. We have got our Teflon tape now. And I'm just going to connect these two lines and make sure that they're not routed where they're going to hit anything. So let's make sure that we can get this on camera here. And just tighten these down like so. Okay. And now for this, uh, to tighten this connection, it's ideal if you have um, either two crescent wrenches or maybe some vice grips or channel locks so that you can hold one side of this connection while you tighten down the other. So I'm gonna hold it right here, try and tighten it down so I get a nice firm connection. Okay, keep tightening it. Sometimes I watch these videos and I uh, listen to myself and I think of all the things that I say while I'm doing this, it just seems kind of strange. I wonder if you guys notice it, so I apologize. Sometimes I say, okay, or here we go again all the time. I'm trying to work on it, but uh, you know, you're kind of distracted when you're trying to put this stuff together and talk on camera and show you what's going on all at the same time. So sometimes I may sound a little uh, funny there, but uh, it's all trying to make sure that we get you good footage to show you what's going on. So now you can see I have got this connected. I can turn the water back on and let's see if it leaks anywhere, okay? So turning it back on and I can hear it coming out the faucet, so that's good. But we're gonna turn the faucet off and we're going to open this valve up all the way, okay? And what I like to do here is just dry everything off. You, you know, the worst thing about plumbing work or the one thing that you wanna make sure is that you don't have any leaks because water damage is no fun and very expensive to repair. So, you know, it's always worth it to spend a few extra moments just making sure that everything is dry, you're not getting any drips, and take a towel and kind of wipe everything down and then go test this thing and then come back, look at it half hour later, look at it at the end of the day, make sure that there are no leaks because even a minuscule leak over time can cause a lot a lot of damage excuse me i'm hiccuping there so uh you want to make sure you've got that make sure even stuff like this valve can leak after you're done uh you just want to make sure that that's properly adjusted or if it does leak you might need to replace that in the future but uh just something to keep in mind and make sure that you've got it all properly connected so Let's go up top and watch this thing work and run. 
Okay, so here is the sink. We have the filter installed. I'm going to turn this on and uh, give it some time here for the filter to fill up. Okay, there you can see it's coming out and uh, just flushing some stuff out of that filter to get started up. But uh, the filter is now uh, working and we've got it installed down here. You can see the filter underneath the sink. There are no leaks that I can see of and this thing is doing a good job. So we are all set there and hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm just gonna show you, since we put it on the cold line, you're gonna see an increase in water um, when you go from cold to the hot line. And the reason is, is because that filter does slow the water down a little bit. So just something to note there, and that is how you know that you've got the filter on there and it is working correctly. So thanks for watching this video. Please enjoy. Uh, this is the filter that we used, and maybe we'll do another uh, video on why I chose this filter and uh, how it can filter out contaminants in your home. But uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, click on any of the links below if you want to support us or if you want to get this filter that uh, I also installed, and just follow the instructions along on how to install your own water filter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.